the food, the food, the drinks, the snacks, the treats, everything that's coming to Galaxy's Edge looks delicious, looks exotic. You guys ready? Let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another Star Wars Galaxy's Edge breakdown. Today we're looking at drinks, we're looking at food, we're looking at alcoholic bevies, my favorite. And it's, we're, there's a lot, there's a lot to cover, so buckle up. It's gonna be a long, long video. And before we get into everything, I gotta mention, make sure you subscribe, make sure you have the notifications on, because I'm going to Galaxy's Edge. I'm gonna do a couple more of these videos, breaking down everything, guessing prices, using what information I have. Let's see what we're gonna take a look at. I've got four different, I think it's four different spots. We're gonna be taking a look at the milk stand. There's some beautiful artwork there. We're gonna be taking a look at Docking Bay 7, food and cargo. After that, we'll take a look at Kat Saka's Kettle, and then Ronto Roasters. Oh, there's a fifth. There's a fifth one. The biggest is the most important one. Who am I kidding? Olga's Cantina. So this is the order we're going to go in. Let's start off with the milk stand. I want to start by looking at the artwork. You can see it here on the screen. It's it's pretty bait. I mean, it's, it's very ornate. There's a lot of like baubles and almost reminds me of a tiki bar, which I love tiki bars. Uh, but it looks like a like a small little you can see the stanchions there with the ropes like it's a little it's just like a line you line up it's a little quick stand it's, a, it's not a restaurant this is a, a booth a stand a cart that you walk right up to so I sh we shouldn't expect too much from this one which is why I put it first so we can kind of get it out of the way but this is where you're gonna get the blue milk this is where you're gonna get all the good stuff so let's start by reading what Disneyland has to say Disneyland's website they have a blurb all the time so let's take a look at their blurb all right, first things first says, quench your thirst with a cup of Batu's legendary blue or green treat served frozen. Beginning June 24th, no reservations are required for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Okay, we know that. Uh, there it is. A specialty famous throughout the galaxy. No visit to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is complete without a frosty confection from the milk stand. The vendors at this quirky stall offer travelers an invigorating, refreshing drink that's a favorite among the locals. So a couple facts here. Luke Skywalker can be seen enjoying the blue milk in Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, and the green milk in Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. That's funny, it was Luke both times. Uh, I guess Aunt Beru was pouring it in A New Hope. Yeah, yeah. All right, it says thirsty visitors can now try both these exotic galactic delicacies for themselves as they live their own Star Wars adventure. Okay, okay. Now, if on the same website, it does say the pricing there, $14.99 and under per adult. Those aren't exact prices. That's a baseline for the $1 sign. So on Disney, they have $1 sign, $2 sign, $3 signs. You'll see that $14.99 listed for pretty much everything here but it's not really the best way to gauge the prices. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Uh, but it does say no annual pass holder discounts. And we can click on the menu. I've got an image of it pulled up already. Here we go. Oh, look, there's a picture of the actual blue milk itself, blue and green. And I like the cups that they're in. Let's take a look at this menu. Let's see here. Milk stand opening May 31st, 2019. I'll be there. Meal period, snack period. It's the only one available. Uh, this is a plant, the blue milk is a plant-based blend of coconut and rice milk. That sounds good. I mean, I like coconut flavored stuff. I like rice milk, like horchata, or horchata, as I should say. Um, it's, it's good. I, I think I'm going to, and it's frozen? <sighs> Let it go. All right, so we got green milk. We got plant-based blend of coconut and rice milk. Interesting. Well, they're, they're basically the same thing. Wonder what the, what the difference is here in taste. That's the official website says that. Um, I've got some beverage prices pulled up because at the milk stand, not only can you buy the bever this thing, we're, this is what we're looking at, the blue and the green and the cups by itself, but you can also buy a souvenir sipper. And the souvenir sipper, uh, it's supposed to be kind of like a baby bottle, like a sport bottle, kind of like the one Luke used in uh, Last Jedi. So I, I'm not, maybe not exact, but similar to that is how I've heard it described. So the reason I pulled up this, this is actual pricing from the Galactic Grill over at um, in Tomorrowland. And the BB-8 sipper, you'll see there's $13.99. So with a sipper, you're looking at 14 bucks. A Galactic Slush, which I would think would be very equivalent to this. Uh, Galactic Slush looks to be, it's a Cosmic Blue Slush with pineapple, whatever, $7.59. So I think that's probably around the right pricing. $7.59, maybe a dollar more for an upcharge because it's Galaxy's Edge, maybe. 
but I think $7.59 is just going to be about the right price for this, uh, for either flavor. And then you're looking at getting closer to, all the slides here, uh, closer to $13.99 or $14.99 for that bottle, depending on how nice that bottle actually is. Okay, so next up, what do we got? Okay, next we've got Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. Now this is going to be, I think it's more of like a mishmash, like a bunch of different spots you grab food from, just by the looks of this artwork. Uh, I'm blocking a little bit on the side, but don't worry, you're not missing much. But from what we can see in this artwork, it looks like there's a lot of people kind of eating on crates, just kind of bouncing around. There's one right in the center there, it looks like a tent, like an awning, going over like a crate that a droid or someone set up shop in. So. I don't know how exact this is going to look, but it does look like we're in like the hull of a ship, which is also cool. So I wonder, I wonder how big of a ship we're actually in. But it's supposed to be like a food truck type deal. Let's see what the website has to say here. All right, it says hungry travelers can fuel up on Galactic Grub at this local eatery. Uh, prepare your taste buds for takeoff at this restaurant, housed in a working hangar bay. Choose from a variety of dishes prepared with ingredients from across the galaxy. All of it delicious, but none of it familiar. Chef Strono, Cookie, Tugs, so his name is Strono Tugs, nickname Cookie, has docked a food freighter loaded with fresh supplies and he's ready to satisfy the appetites of visitors and locals alike with an array of exotic offerings. His planet hopping travels allow him to prepare fare with unusual flavors that delight customers. Once you've got your grub, sit inside the spacious hangar or grab a table in the rustic outdoor seating area. Okay. Uh, surrounded by the crumbling walls of an old marketplace. I think it's funny that his name is Cookie. If you guys have ever been on a Disney cruise, I went in 2017, uh, when you're on Castaway Key, their private island, there's uh, the place that you eat where you get your food on the island is called Cookies, and there's another one called Cookies too. And it's supposed to be like the cook's name. So it's kind of funny that we see Cookie again as the chef. I, don't know, I just found that kind of interesting. Uh, let's take a look at what I've got prepared here. This is their menu breakfast a lot of people have been asking what do i do if i have the 8 a.m to 12 p.m slot which i do for the first friday 31st um breakfast we can have galaxy's edge breakfast they thought of it they knew it wasn't going to be lunch only there's going to be unique breakfast offering and i haven't seen much i haven't seen a whole lot of people talking about this yet let's take a look here we've got rising moons overnight oats okay okay very good um, which looks to be, was this, oats, dragon fruit, yogurt, seasonal fruit. So it's just like a, like your basic yogurt cup with fruit. Or oatmeal. So it's oat, okay, I get it. Uh, we also have Bright Sun's Morning. Now, if you remember, I mentioned in a previous video that the lingo they're going to be using, stuff like Bright Sun's, Rising Moon's, yeah, that's that's part of the lingo of, of the people of Batu. Batuese, as they're calling it. Uh, so the Bright Sun's Morning is a three cheese egg bite. So three cheeses and a little egg bite. I wonder if it's like those Starbucks sous vide eggs, maybe? Uh, a pork sausage, purple potato hash, that's the exotic purple potatoes, and a mini Mustafarian lava roll. I like that. Or you can just get the full-size Mustafarian lava roll. Now, for this, I don't fully know. Let's let's see. I've got one of the another comparable somewhat restaurant, that same one, the Galactic Grill. If we pull up the Galactic Grill, menu. This is the breakfast menu, Galactic Grill over in Tomorrowland. A breakfast burrito is $8.99. We don't really have a plate. There's not really like a plate option for this one. Maybe Riverbell Terrace. I think Riverbell... Now this one has two dollar signs. So it says $15 to $34.99. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. But I think maybe that breakfast jives a little bit more. Um, do they have... There you do have a breakfast. So there's like a Mark Twain, a sausage, scrambled eggs, potatoes, and biscuits, $17. These are a bit more expensive. This is a slightly fancier restaurant. So I think it's gonna range somewhere in between there, and that's pretty safe to say for Disneyland food, for a full meal for one person. Expect, especially breakfast, expect between nine and like 15 per major entree. Um, let's turn that off, let's go to What's next on this slide? We've got, so this is still breakfast. We have kids Disney check meals. Um, and these are just kind of like health friendly options for kids. This seems, this is very similar. It's a scrambled egg, purple potatoes, seasonal fresh fruit served with low fat milk or water, 
Ooh, small, so I wonder if these small Dasani waters are going to be unique. We'll, we'll get more to that later. It says it meets Disney's nutritional guidelines for complete meals without substitutions. So it's kind of it's like snacky stuff. Um, I mean, maybe the scrambled egg, not so much. Specialty bevies. They've got mouffe juice. They've got fatro. And they've got batu bouchetti. So we'll look at the mouffe juice and fatro in just a second. I've got pictures. For the batu bucha tea, that is suja pineapple passion fruit kombucha. I like it. A little, little, a little funky fermented kombucha. That's cool. Uh, they also have assorted fountain beverages, regular size and large size. And those, I believe, are $3.99 for regular and $4.19 for the uh, large size fountain beverages. They have bottled water. And if I remember correctly, bottled water. I can actually look it up on another window. Maybe if I'm good like that. A bottled water is $3.99. And a regular coffee, $2.99 is what that should cost for the regular coffee. Uh, here we go. There is our, what is that? They, what do we call it? Moof juice and a fatro. Moof juice and fatro. And there we go. The moof juice on the left, that pink one, is simply fruit punch with simply orange pineapple and chipotle pineapple flavoring added to it. So it's got a little spice, a little kick. Probably, it's probably fine for kids to eat or drink, but uh, it's got a little a little something that's going to stick in the back of your throat. It's what that chipotle pineapple is going to do. Uh, the Fatro is Gold Peak Unsweetened Tea, which I love Gold Peak Unsweetened Tea. Like, I'll buy the big old jug for like two bucks at the store and just chug it. But you're there adding lemonade, so it's like an Arnold Palmer. And then some uh, Desert Pear. Okay, give it a little, a little funky color there. It's where that, that little orange-ish color comes from. That sounds good. I'm going to guess these beverages are probably going to be about four to five bucks. That, I think that's, that's pretty fair for something like that. And lunch, there's still going to be lunch. So it doesn't tell me what time lunch starts. I'm guessing probably 1030 or 11. So when they'll roll out lunch, uh, lunch entrees, there's a Felucian garden spread, which is plant-based kefta. I don't know what kefta is, but it's plant-based. So vegetarian, I'm guessing vegan friendly, uh, but vegetarian friendly for sure. There's herb hummus, tomato, cucumber, relish, and pita. I like it. And then there's also some all-day entrees as well. I think on my next, there we go. There's, that's the, uh, what is this? The Felucian Garden Spread. And those are keftar, like three little meatballs. There's the tomato, cucumber business going on. And there's pita broken up into three pieces in a bowl. I, you know, I don't fully know what to guess on that thing. I am going to, let me think here. Let me think. Hmm. You know, it could be could be a lot of things. Let's see. Let's get a, a Tangaroa Terrace. We pull up Tangaroa Terrace. They have similar kind of exotic -y stuff, right? Tangaroa Salad's 13 bucks. That's shrimp. We got pulled pork. So I'm going to guess that this thing is going to be just around between a, between 10 and and 13. It doesn't look like a whole lot of food, and it's breakfast. I think 13's pushing it, probably more around like 10, 9 and change. I think would be fair for something like that. All right, next up, ooh, this is the Yob Shrimp. So back on that other page there, we've got Yob Shrimp Noodle Salad on the bottom right. I did skip these other ones. There's smoked Kadu Ribs, which we'll see later, uh, which are sticky pork ribs. For right now, let's take a look at the Yob Shrimp Noodle Salad. So it's chilled shrimp, so it's a cold cold shrimp salad, marinated noodles, vegetables, and cilantro. And that, that looks good. I'm not super into cold shrimp. I'm really not, but I would try that. I think I, I would I would go for that. Uh, and one thing I did notice, actually, oh, and we'll see it in another one, but it's also on the kids' menu. The shrimp salad's also on the kids' menu. But we saw smoked kadu ribs, which are sticky pork ribs, blueberry corn muffin, cabbage slaw, fried andorian tip yip, which is a chicken Roasted vegetable potato mash, herb gravy, roasted and Dorian tip yip salad, which is that chicken again, uh, mixed greens, roasted seasonal vegetables, quinoa, pumpkin seeds tossed in a green curry ranch. So let's take a look at those other items here. There we go. Those are the kadu ribs. There's the uh, slaw and then a muffin. That's not bad. I'm going to guess, you know, probably something similar that maybe 12 bucks. It's ribs and it's Disneyland. Maybe 12 or 13 bucks. They're not huge. If you get ribs at Riverbell Terrace, whatever, it's like 19 bucks. So I'm going to guess like 13 on those. That's probably that's probably fair. Uh, next up, that is the Tip Yip. And I see the little pumpkin seeds in there. Okay, this is the Tip Yip salad. That looks pretty good. 
I see some like kind of crisp uh, cauliflower. I'm not sure what the green stuff is. It's not broccoli. That green stuff doesn't look quite like broccoli. It looks a little more leafy, almost like kale, but not like kale. Um, hmm. And what's next? Oh, so the Disney Kids Meals, the Disney Check, Yob Shrimp Noodle Salads. Like I said, that is on the kids' menu. Uh, what's interesting here is there is a taste of Takodana, black bean hummus, edible soil, I wonder what that means, with nuts, chilled dipping vegetables, multigrain crisps. Okay, I would get this for a snack. I would definitely pick up Taste of Taco Donna, and if I can bring it in line while I'm waiting for something, I could get down on some hummus. I'm gonna guess these kids, um, kids Disney check meals are gonna be, so look, check this out. If we go back to Tangaroa Terrace, the uh, Disney check meals right here, they're a grilled salmon bowl and a power pack, which is again, more snacky stuff. Six bucks for the power pack, 10 bucks for the grilled salmon. So for the kids, Yob Shrimp, I'm gonna guess 10 bucks. For the Taste of Takadana, I'm going to guess 6 and then there's a Fried Endorian Tip Yip, which I'm going to guess is probably like seven fifty right in the middle, um, and it's a smaller portion of the chicken dish. And then at the bottom, we see the Oi Oi Puff, Oi Oi Dad, like uh, <laughs> Boba Fett would say, Raspberry Cream Puff with Passion Fruit Mousse, a Batu Bone, which is chocolate cake, white chocolate mousse, and coffee custard. That sounds pretty good. Sounds really good, actually. Uh, the next, we see the Moof Juice, the Fatro, which we talked about. Atubucha tea, I don't have a picture of. Assorted, this is a similar thing, same kind of beverages. Um, oh, and then we're into dinner. Dinner. This is going to get a little bit more expensive, maybe. We've got the braised shock roast, uh, which is a pot roast, cavatelli pasta, wilted kale, and mushrooms. Sounds pretty good. A little, very savory, very savory beef pot roast. Uh, next, we have the Athorian garden loaf, a plant based meat loaf with roasted vegetables, potato mash. Seasoned vegetables, mushroom sauce. That sounds good. And then at the bottom, the all-day entries. These were available at lunch, but these top two, the braised shock roast and the Athorian garden loaf, are exclusive to dinner. Ooh, there we go. That must be the, uh, what is it? The shock roast. That's the roast beef on the cavatelli pasta and some kale there. That looks good. It doesn't look like a whole lot of meat, but it does look good. I'm going to guess it's dinner. 15 bucks. It's Disney. 15 bucks for dinner is probably pretty normal. 15 or 16 even. And it's pot roast, and it looks looks pretty good. I mean, they charge $19 for fried chicken now. If you go to the Plaza Inn and get the chicken plate with the mashed potatoes and the green beans, that's like 19 bucks now. It's really good chicken, but man, 19 bucks. So I'm going to say 15 or 16 for this. Uh, next up, this is the plant-based Athorian loaf. That looks good. I like those big old carrots. I love those kind of green beans. Those are my favorite, to be honest. Um, that looks like a, what did they say, a, a mash? What kind of mash is that? That is a, uh, oh, hello. Um, meatloaf was a seasonal vegetables, mushroom sauce, and potato mash. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to get 16. I'm going to get 16 again. I like the spork in the corner. I like the utility fancy metal spork. I hope they give us those to eat with. That would be nice. Uh, Disney check meals. This is the same, similar thing. So same stuff is available for kids, for dinner, yob shrimp salad, taste of takodana, and the tip yip. And then there is the actual tip yip. And with the green fancy sauce, that is the actual tip yip. Interesting. Oh, they have the same specialty beverages, Moof Juice, Fatro, Batu Bucha Tea, and the same thing again at dinner. The drinks don't really change throughout the day. Uh, these are the desserts, the Batu Bon. It's a bunch of slides later. Let me see if I can pull back up. But there's one of them. Is the dessert on here? Where the Oh, there's one thing I wanted to show you. The, the desserts, I'm going to guess seven or eight bucks each. Maybe less, maybe six. They look good. I doubt they're going to be plated like that with the fancy stuff. But I do want to jump to the next thing because back in February, this item was reported. The people were saying this is going to be a thing. A lot of people were saying this is going to like, I saw this in a bunch of reports that it's the fish option. And now I don't seem to see it on their actual menu. So I think this might have gotten canceled. Perhaps I'm not 100% sure. But this is called, let me pull it up, the Oven Roasted Bura, uh, Bura Sustainable Fish with Mixed Greens, Roasted Vegetables, Quinoa, Pumpkin Seeds, and a Creamy Curry Ranch Dressing. That sounds good. That sounds really good. But it's not on the menu at all. So I don't know if it got canceled since then. They're like, eh, fish didn't test so well, so maybe we won't put that on the menu. Because stuff does change, and this was reported back in late February, early March, during their press event back then. 
Uh, and here we are back to the breakfast menu, which means it's time to go to Katsaka's Kettle. Y'all ready for Katsaka's? Now, before we get into Katsaka's, I gotta remind you guys, thumbs up the video. If you like these things, if you appreciate the hard work, all the info that I go through grabbing this, please, thumbs up the video. And what helps even more is if you share it. If you go to Facebook, you share it. If you go to Reddit, you share it. Twitter, all that stuff, links are below. You can just hit the little arrow, share the stuff, subscribe, you know the deal. All right, let's go to Katsaka's. Let's look at this artwork first, though. It's, again, another stall. This is a snack stall. It's where they have, like, a specialty popcorn. There's not going to be a whole lot here. But I like... It looks like it's in the marketplace, judging by the uh, the little tarps and everything around there. So you can probably just walk up and pick up your fancy popcorn. I like those little orb balls that he's cooking it in. Man, it looks pretty neat. I mean, I don't know what to say other than that it's just a small little stall. But let's pull up what Disneyland's website has to say. Cat Saka's Kettle. Pop into this eclectic food style for some outpost mix, a sweet, savory snack made with popcorn. Uh, tantalizing taste from across the galaxy. Venture into market to find this colorful snack shop where grains from all over the galaxy are on display. Order a generous piping hot helping of this popular, flavorful local specialty popcorn and enjoy it as you explore. Black Spire Outpost refreshing beverages are also sold here. Run by the grain merchant Kat Saka. This stall offers customers a unique taste of Batu. So, I mean, that's really all they're specializing in is just this popcorn. So, let's see here. Let's get their menu up. This is the simplest menu of them all, I think. Uh, the only meal period they have is snack. They don't have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's just snack when it opens. And they have the Outpost Popcorn Mix, a colorful blend of sweet and spicy flavors. So, you have popcorn, but it's sweet, spicy. But this is the other cool part. Assorted Coca-Cola beverages. Notice limit three total per guest per transaction. That means Katsaka's Kettle is where you get the cool Coke bottles. I don't know that they're going to have the cool Coke bottles everywhere else because all the other places are going to be fountain drinks. I think this is where you get, this white says limit three per guest because they're like, well, you, we can buy three because we know a bunch of people are going to buy them and try and put them up on eBay or something. Um, which, you know, to each their own, that's fair. So let's take a look at the popcorn. Look at that. There's like some that are purple, some that are red, some have like an orangish tinge. Sweet, savory, spicy popcorn. I'm into it. I'm into it. Sounds sounds pretty cool. Um, and there's the soda. Look at that. We got Coca-Cola. They look like little grenades. Some people say they look like the uh, holiday orbs. I think they're a little bit different. The holiday orbs have much more of a neck going up. They're very similar to the holiday. Like, you know, they're supposed to look like um, little baubles you'd put on a tree, but they're Coke. So it's very, very similar to that. But... It, to me, it's not same enough, but we have Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Sprite, and the Sasani. Uh, someone pointed out in the Facebook group, which, by the way, SW Star Wars, what is it? SWGalaxiesEdge.com is run by this guy named Mike. Um, it's where I'm getting a lot of my information from, as well as just various internet outlets. But it's there's been a lot of cool information that I haven't seen anywhere else that it's in that Facebook group that you can reach by going to SW galaxiesedge.com but someone in there the other day was posting about the Dasani bottle and they were saying that if you translate the Arabesh on the side you turn it sideways and you look at it it actually says DAS and then there's the Dasani S symbol so it's like D-A-S-S-A-N-I it's like Dasani but I think the little S in between the D-A-S and the A-N-I on the actual label it's just for looks it's like part of the logo so they had to include it I don't know I don't know but we're back to the menu which means we're moving on to the next place. And this isn't quite a restaurant, but it's the Ronto Roasters. Now, Ronto Roasters, this is, there's a whole not a whole lot here. Again, this is going to be like a snack, kind of quick pickup, but they do have an interesting item. First, let's take a look at this actual building, this actual place. And that is a giant pod racer engine. There's a huge, huge pod racer engine. Just, and it's supposed to look like it's cooking the meats. Which I love that. Like, I wonder how they're going to pull that off and make that look right. Because uh, it could, you know, you could possibly tell. It's like, okay, that's definitely not cooking it. Or, like, are there going to be flames involved? There's, like, actually, like, open flames. That'd be cool. That'd be really... I'd be, I'd be cool if there was, like, you know, little fires. Some show. Um, but it looks neat. It looks like a neat little place where you can kind of see stuff happen. Again, it's going to be in the marketplace area of Black Spire Outpost. Let's read what Disney has to say about this one. 
Sink your teeth into savory grilled sausage and roast pork wrap at this exotic meat stall. Specifically an exotic meat stall. Uh, beginning June 24th, no reservations. There we go. Roasted to perfection as you wander the market, follow intoxicating scent of grilled meat wafting through the air. I'm into it. Uh, Ronto Roasters is a favorite stop for crews prepping for their next mission. Be me. Inside spot, the hanging pod racer engine heating up a spit of meat. I read that weird. Inside, spot the hanging pod racer engine heating up a spit of meats. A pitmaster droid turns the mechanical spit, nice, grilling a large side of Ronto, a massive, massive beast native to the planet Tatooine. If you remember, A New Hope, if you've seen the special edition, not just the old original 70s or, yeah, 77 edition, A New Hope. Um, in 1997, they released the special edition and they added a scene to the beginning of Moss Eisley. And in this scene, they had the Ronto. So you see the speeder go by, and they just added these new creatures. Um, and they might have been in the background as, like, stationary, but now we get to see them move. And so Rontos are a thing, and I'm, I'm glad to see that they brought that into Batu. Um, enjoy your tasty treatment specialty beverage while you explore the rest of the market. I think I might have read that. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. Those look like little hot dog tacos. Little hot dog tacos. Some beef jerky in the back, some juice. Let's take a look at that menu. Breakfast, ooh, they have breakfast. Specifically breakfast, I like that. Ronto morning wrap, scrambled eggs, grilled pork sausage, shredded cheddar, peppercorn sauce wrapped in pita. So we got eggs, grilled sauce, it's just like a little baby breakfast wrap. I might get that for breakfast. And then again, the Rising Moon's overnight oats. We've seen that already. Hmm. Uh, and then entrees, which is the Ronto wrap which is their, their main signature item. So I think they're gonna have that all day. And then the Nuna turkey jerky available and sweet or spicy. So I'm gonna guess, let's, you know what? I'm gonna pull up another website here. Let's go over to Angry Dogs. There's a hot dog stand. So they're hot dog tacos at Ronto Roasters. I think the Angry Dogs is a good gauge, right? Um, so snack, again, similar. Angry Dog is $8.49 and that is a hot dog with a bag of hot fries. The annoyed dog is $7.49, not so spicy, with potato chips. And then assorted drinks, you know, $4.19, $3.99, bottled water, same kind of stuff they've got everywhere. I think that's about right for the pricing, $7.49 or $8.49. That's very likely going to be what we're going to pay for one of these. Maybe a little less. If it's more snacky and small, maybe less. But if it's anything like the, um, like the promo image, let me go back to it. The promo, this beautiful image, and you get three of them. If you're getting three, then it's definitely going to be more. We're talking 13 bucks. But I think they're going to sell them singularly. I think there's just three for the sake of a beautiful picture. Um, there was more menus, though. Look at this. Specialty beverage. I don't have pictures for these. Well, there is one. In the main thing, there's a picture of the Mel Melu Run juice. But the Tatooine Sunset, which has Gold Peak Unsweetened Tea, again... Odwalla Lemonade, again, it's another Arnold Palmer, uh, with melon and blueberry. That sounds good. Melu Run Juice, that's a reference to uh, Star Wars Rebels, Hera's favorite, Melu Runs. And I heard there's actually Melu Runs at Galaxy's Edge, if you look close. Uh, Barillitos, Aguas Barillitos, I don't know how you say that. Aguas Frescas Pineapple, with Simply Lemonade, more lemonade. Uh, the other one was Odwalla Lemonade, this time it's Simply Lemonade. I like that they give us the ingredients. I might have to try and make these at home. Uh, with blueberry, so simply lemon with blueberry, white cranberry juice, lemon juice, and desert pear. So we got pineapple, lemonade with blueberry, white cranberry, there's a lot going on, this Melurun juice. Uh, and then the last one, sour sarlacc, which is Minute Maid Limeade, delicious, with raspberry and spicy mango. I want that. Sp I like something about spicy, sounds good to me. Sounds really good. We got regular size and large size fountain beverages, and then bottled water, of course. And la there is a lunch menu, which is the same thing. Ronto wrap, Nuna jerky, Nuna turkey jerky, the same three drinks. It's the same thing at lunch as it is. The only difference is breakfast has more options. You get the oats or you get the breakfast wrap as well as the regular stuff. And again, here's the picture on the left. That is the Melu run juice. That is the turkey jerky, both spicy and regular. And then those are our regular lunch or dinner wraps, the Ronto wraps. Guys, this looks delicious. I, I mean, I have to try all of this. It's going to be hard to do that when I'm like trying to build a lightsaber, trying to build a droid, 
trying to ride Smuggler's Run, Falcon Ride. And then I gotta eat all the food. I gotta go to Doc Ondar's. I gotta go buy, like, Resistance Supply and buy, like, a pilot outfit. Or Jedi robe. Or Sith robes. <sighs> Guys, this is, this is so much. There's so much going on here. Um, did I guess prices on these? We did kind of with some of them. The jerky, I'm gonna guess seven bucks. The Melu Run Juice specialty of beverage. Between four and change up to six and change is my guess for the Melu, Melu Run Juice. But next, it's time to look at Oga's Cantina. This is gonna be the best. Oga's Cantina. This is the big part, so I'll save this for last. You ready? Let's do this. Alright, take a look at that artwork. We've seen this. We've seen this a lot. I've seen, I've, I swear, I've stared at this thing a lot. So let's start on the left. Who do we see on the left? DJ Rex. Now this, he looks a little different. The DJ Rex is technically it's supposed to be this guy. This is RX24. I'm just double check myself here. RX24 Rex, the old captain of Star Tours, the old Star Tours before they redid it. And I have an action figure of him because I'm a nerd and I like to collect toys, as you may have seen in some of my other videos. I do toy reviews. Um, I like him. I bought him because he's cool. But in the corner there is DJ Rex. He got a new job because he wasn't good at Star Tours. And now he's a DJ making music. And he's spinning music at Oga's Cantina. That's so cool. You can't really like touch him or see him because he's like elevated a bit. But notice all the people. I like that there's like aliens and stuff and stormtroopers looking around. This looks so cool. It looks like the cantina. Uh, I am blocking Oga on my thing here. Let me see if I can... There we go. You can see Oga underneath. There's Oga and some rando. I think that's Oga. Maybe it's not. I'm guessing that's Oga. Uh, but again, this looks a lot like the cantina from Moss Eisley. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. So let's see what Disney has to say about this spot. Let's see here. All right. So we've got Oga's Cantina. Step inside this notorious local watering hole to partake of unique concoctions for all ages. All ages can be in this bar. Uh, thirsty for a taste of adventure? Welcome to the local cantina where bounty hunters, smugglers, rope traders, and weary travelers of all ages come together to refuel, enjoy music, and conduct meetings, no questions asked. With an expansive menu of exotic concoctions for young ones and adults, the cantina is a welcome rest stop before your crew's upcoming galactic journey. As you plan your next smuggling run, please enjoy some bold musical entertainment courtesy of Droid DJR3X. A former Star Speeder 3000 pilot, the cantina adheres to proprietor Oga Gara's strict code of conduct, but patrons can be unpredictable. So keep your head down and drink casual. For those who have long dreamed of visiting one of the galaxy's infamous watering holes, Oga's cantina brings that dream to life. And there's a little bit more. It says, explore a galaxy of unusual offerings. Oga specializes, I heard that weird, in a fantastical drinks sourced with ingredients from across the galaxy that will delight even the youngest crew members. That's cool. Kids can have stuff. To order selections with alcohol, like the Jedi Mind Trick, Cocktail, Bad Motivator IPA, or Tonneray Wine, they will need to see your identification. I like that. That's cute. That's really cute. All right. You guys ready for this? Let's look at the menu. They have breakfast. Oga's has breakfast. I, I okay, I want to try these breakfast drinks. Well, certainly now, some of you might be like, drinking in the morning. You know what? I'm on vacation. I'm at Disneyland. I'm doing me. All right, the Spiran Calf, which is made of Peru Auto, or it's like a coffee drink. 151 rum, also my favorite. And then a Bloody Rancor. It's like their take on a Bloody Mary. And we'll get into the ingredients a little bit more in a sec. I've got some photos of those. And then there's concoctions without alcohol available in the morning. Blue Bantha, Black Spire Brew, Mugen Tea, and Taring Tea. Again, we'll look at... We'll see, I don't think we'll see the tarring tea or tarring tea, which is gold peak unsweetened tea again. Nice. Peach huckleberry and mint. I'm into that. That sounds good. Uh, the Mugen tea, I don't remember if we see that one, but that is uh, unsweetened tea with chocolate milk, vanilla, and cinnamon. That sounds good, too. I think kids would be into either one of those. Those sound really good. Probably the Mugen tea more than anything. Um, the Blue Bantha we'll look at in a minute, and the Black Spire Brew, I think we look at that one, too. I think we get to see that one in one of the photos. Uh, so let's see here. What's the next photo? Oh, hot beverages. They have hot stuff in the morning. So the double espresso, cafe latte, cappuccino, cold bevies, orange juice, apple juice. She has food. Mustafarian lava roll, which we saw before at the other place. 
uh, sweet galactic delight. Rising moons, overnight oats. So again, the overnight oats are back. That's that's kind of funny they reuse this stuff, but it makes sense. There are some photos. Look at those beautiful, beautiful drinks. They all have kind of like something to them. There's the bone. There's some like zest on top of the one on the right. There's a cookie on the Bantha Blue Milk. A lime with some blueberries, I think. All right, let's see what these are. On the left, we've got Black Spire Brew, which is cold brew. Joffrey's Coffee. Honey Falernum. Ooh, I like Falernum. I use that in tiki drinks. It's kind of like an almond syrup kind of taste. Uh, passion Fruit and Citrus. the lime. Yeah, that's got to be Black Spire Brew. Blue Bantha is the blue milk served chilled with Bantha-inspired vanilla butter sugar cookie. I kind of want it just for the cookie. Uh, bottom, we've got the Bloody Rancor Tito's Vodka. Ancho Reyes Chili Liqueur and spicy bloody Mary mix, and a rancor bone. I don't know what that rancor bone's made of. Probably like a hardened meringue. So you eat it, it's probably like a light, kind of like candy-ish thing. Um, I don't like tomato. I don't like tomato juice. I don't like bloody Marys, honestly. I've had a couple and I've been like, eh, I don't like tomatoes, so this it doesn't do it for me. But this bloody rancor, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna make my wife order one. If we go and we make it during breakfast, I'm gonna be like, hey, I'll have the Spire and Calf, the one with 151 in it, that's for me. And you order the Bloody Rancor, because you can do Bloody Marys, and I'll just sip and try it, and we'll do videos. Uh, but Spire and Calf, coffee, orange marmalade, yes, 151 rum, vanilla whipped cream, and some citrus zest right on top. That's definitely what I want. Okay, lounge. So the other meal, she didn't have lunch. It goes from breakfast to lounge. And we've got Hyperdrive, punch it. Just Powerade, Mountain Berry Blast, White Cranberry Juice, Black Cherry Puree, and Sprite. Okay, that sounds good. Kids probably, this is no alcohol. Kids would be into that. Uh, Jabba Juice, which is orange juice with pineapple. Kiwi Cantaloupe, Blueberry Popping Pearl, that sounds good. Blurg Fire, Adwala, Lemonade, Pomegranate Juice, and Habanero Lime, more spicy. I want spicy. Carbon Freeze, we'll see that in another photo. Uh, Cliff Dweller, we'll see that in another photo. And the Blue Bantha, we already looked at with the sugar cookie on it. Uh, Oga's Cantina Provision. So she has Oga's Obsession, which we'll see here in a photo. But that is, a, it's like cotton, it's like a candy, like a jello candy in a Petri dish. Uh, and then also there's a snack, which is Batu Bits. Light crisp snack mix from the galaxy. Probably like Chex Mix or like Wasabi Peas. You know, that kind of stuff. Like the little, um, like the Asian snack mix. I think that's what that's going to be similar to. All right, look at these three drinks. I love the photos they did with the smoke coming in. That's cool. All right, let's see what these are. On the very top left with the little pearls inside, that is the Carbon Freeze. So it's Lemon Lime Powerade with Wild Strawberry, Blueberry and Green Apple Popping Pearls. So it's blue and green little popping pearls. And I don't know, what maybe they put dry ice. They probably don't put dry ice. I wonder what makes it smoke like that, or if it does at all. It probably doesn't. Uh, but it does look cool. I like that. In the center, in that Petri dish, I like how they use like different glasses for this presentation. I hope when we sit down and we go to Oga's, we get to use unique cups like this or glasses. That would be neat. Uh, Oga's Obsession, which is Oddwalla Lemonade. Maybe it is like a drink. Cotton candy flavor. Blueberry popping pearls with a bursting dried fruit mixture crumbled on the top there. It, I've heard it was jelly-like, like jello-like. Like so I wonder, maybe the popping pearls make it like that. Uh, and this is all non-alcoholic. Next up is the Cliff Dweller on the right. Citrus juices, coconut, hibiscus grenadine, and ginger ale. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And I'm going to look at prices um, at Carthay Circle Lounge, just so we can get an idea of what some of these things are going to be. Just, you know, as a heads up. That's why I'm not doing prices now, because I'm going to pull it up in a little bit, and we'll kind of gauge based on that. So next up on the menu, we've got... I think we've seen some of this. No, some of it's new. We've got Fuzzy Tauntaun, which we'll look at in a bit. Uh, the Dagobah Slug Slinger, which is Herodura Reposado Tequila. Uh, what is that? Some of the blue curacao, citrus juices, ginger herbs, and bitters. I, I want to try these all. Uh, the Jedi Mind Trick, which is Kettle One Grapefruit and Rose Vodka. Uh, John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum. Yes, please. Bulls Blue Curacao. I'm not a big fan of blue curacao. It's like blue, sugary, tastes like coconut, makes your mouth all blue. Uh, white grape juice, lime juice, and grapefruit bitters. I might skip the Jedi Mind trick. 
Sounds like super, super sugary. Uh, Bespin Fizz, which is Bacardi Superior Rum. I think we see the Bespin Fizz in a picture in just a little bit. Use you puree, pomegranate juice, yes we do. Uh, T16 Skyhopper, which is Tito's Vodka, Melon Liqueur, Kiwi, and Half and Half. That sounds unique with the Half and Half. I might go for one of those just to try it. Jet Juice, which we don't see. Uh, that is Maker's Mark Bourbon. I'm into it. Anchorreas Chile Liquor. Again, that stuff's back. Uh, Sedia Acai Liquor. White Grape Juice and Lemon Juice. I like that they're going super exotic with a lot of this stuff. Uh, and then the Outer Rim and Yub Nub. We'll look at it in just a minute. I've got photos. Other than that, there are beers on tap. Now, I don't know if these are beers specifically made for Galaxy's Edge or if they're just like relabeled beers they already make. For example, we've got Blue Point Brewing uh, from Petchaug, is that Colorado? Uh, making a golden lager, which they're calling Gold Squadron Lager. I like it. Uh, the Gamorian Ale, which is a red ale by New Belgium in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, oh, and that's, I'm sorry, Fort Collins, Colorado. When I said Petchaug, that is Long Island, New York. I've been there. I, I said Colorado because it said CEO, but that's company. But back to the uh, Gamorian Ale, that's New Belgium from Fort Collins. I don't know if that red ale is something they've made before and they're just reskinning it, calling it Gamorian Ale just for this occasion. Uh, we have the White Wampa Ale, which is a Hefeweizen from Ballast Point out of San Diego. And then we have a Bad Motivator IPA by Sierra Nevada. Again, these is out of Chico, California. Um, I don't, yeah, I, I want to try that Bad Motivator. That sounds cool. All right, take a look at these. Can you guys guess which is which? Do you, do you have an idea what's what? Here we go. Bottom left with the weird little looks like mustard. Mustard, mustard yeah. <laughs> mustard. Don't let's be silly. It does not look good. Um, it just looks like a like a a slug poop or something. That mustard, whatever it is. All right, let's read what it is. Patron Silver Tequila, Sedia Acai Liquor, Lime Juice, Pure Cane Sugar, topped with black salt and exotic fruit. Puree, so that is fruit puree topped with black salt, or rimmed with black salt. And then there's, it's a tequila drink with lime, so that's okay. I say liquor's probably good. Sugar, interesting. I don't know if I would go for the outer rim. That mustard looking stuff kind of grosses me out a smidge. Uh, next up is the Bespin Fizz Bacardi Superior Rum. Yes, please. Yuzu puree, pomegranate juice, white cranberry juice, and cloud swirl. Cloud the cloud swirl. That's what I want to try. Uh, Yub Nub, which is the bottom little orange one. Malibu Pineapple Rum. Mm. Uh, Sailor Jerry Spice Rum, yes. Citrus Juices and Passion Fruit. It's a rum drink. I'm in. I'll take a Yub Nub. Fuzzy Tauntaun, which is Ciroc Peach Vodka. Bowls Peach Schnapps. Simply Orange topped with Tangerine, Pure Cane Sugar, and Buzz Foam. Buzz Foam. Three Zs for a triple dose. Um, that is... I, I mean, I would want to try it, yeah. That sounds interesting. I, would, I just wonder what buzz foam is. Is it like a alcohol-infused foam? I don't know. Uh, then we have hard cider. It's called Spice Runner Cider by Angry Orchard. Again, might be the same stuff we're used to. Might be brand new. And then there is wine on tap. Tonnerre, which is by Goldschmidt Vineyards in Sonoma. And then Imperial Guard. I believe the Tonnerre is a white and the Imperial Guard is a red. Not 100% sure, but I believe that's what that is. Uh, and what else have we here? Is that it? That's that's the end. That's Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you. Uh, let's go over to, for pricing, just to gauge pricing. Let's pull up the menu for, this is Carthay Circle, the lounge. Some of the sophisticated drinks, and these are like gin and cognac. So here's a Bacardi Superior Rum, Ernest Daiquiri. Maraschino liqueur, lime, grapefruit juice, nectar. Okay. Ernest, I'm guessing this thing, $14.75, that's probably going to be what some of these cost. Some of these drinks at Oga's are going to be around $14.75. Some of the lower end ones will be around 9 bucks maybe, but I think any of the mixed, mixed drinks, look at these things. They're $16.50, $16.50, $13.50, $15.50, and they're all over the place. There's some, some basic stuff. B-52 coffee, these are... Curtain calls had to end the night. Twelve twenty-five for some of these coffee drinks. So maybe the coffee options will be on this lower tier. Uh, and then there are Buena Vista Brews drafts. Nine fifty. Nine fifty. So the beers expect nine fifty. 
or expect if they're bottles, which I don't think any of the uh, Oga's Cantina ones are bottles. I think they're all draft. Uh, let's let's see if I can go back and actually find that. Let's see. Is that draft? Does it say? Does it say if it's a draft? It says on tap, on tap. And let's go back. Unamas. Beers on tap. Yeah, so there are drafts. Uh, so expect nine. 950 for the drafts and the bottles nine to ten dollars if they have other stuff the wines now the wine is gonna range it's gonna be all over the place wine is really gonna be all over the place so this is just the this is the whites thirteen dollars a glass nineteen dollars a glass as low as ten a glass so yeah the, it's it's not gonna be cheap and then same thing with the reds gonna range from eleven there's ten at the lowest end I'm seeing 22, so it's it's it, we don't know we don't know what that what those wines are going to cost, but it's going to be between 10 and 22 bucks a glass. So it could be very expensive. I think they're going to go mid. I think they're going to go for a 12 or 14 dollar pour. Uh, that's just that's just my guess based on what we've what we've seen thus far. Look at that, Oga's Cantina. Oh my god. So what do I, what do I do? This is normal. Well, I want to first off ask you guys. When you get to Galaxy's Edge, what's your priority? Is it are you going to build a lightsaber? Are you going to build a droid? Are you going to eat? Some people are like, I'm just going to shop. Cool, I get it. I, I'm thinking now. I I want to eat. I'm going to make my, maybe my third reservation. I might just go and grub on all the food. I don't know. There's so much after see, after doing this video. There's so much. I want all of it, all of it right now. But okay, out of all the foods, I got to ask. Every, you got if you watch, if you made it this far, and you like me, and you like me doing this, you want me to do more. You got a comment down below. You got a thumbs up. You got to subscribe, and you got a comment down below. With what drink, drinks, food, snacks? What do you want? List them. If you got multiple, list them all. I want the popcorn. I want the oats. I want the beers. I want. List them all down below. I want to know what you guys thought was the best stuff because this is going to help me make my videos. If I see a bunch of people saying the same thing, and I know that you're all interested to see what that is. Come day one, I'm going to make that a priority to try and get that. So that's why I need you guys to comment and tell me what you want because I read that stuff and it's good feedback for me to know what to make for you guys next. You know I love you. Until next time, may the force have with you. <laughs> Goodbye forever. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. There's a ton of channels here on YouTube, but you chose to watch mine and I appreciate that. If you want to watch more, click one of the videos on the side. I've got playlists, plenty of new Star Wars stuff, Disney parks, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, all the toys you could think of. You name it, we got it here at the Dano Channel. Love you. Till next time. May the force be with you. Have a good. Bye. Bye.